Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Um, today's video, I'm going to be trying yet another face mask as part of my face mask tryout slash haul. Um, and today I feel to go for something that's a bit more stronger when it comes to moisturising and hydration. Again, um, I feel like I could do with that extra boost. So I was deciding between these two out of the collection so again we're with dr Jarts, and we have either the cryo rubber with moisturizing hyaluronic acid or we have the dr Jarts ceramides sorry ceramidin facial facial uh, barrier mask um this one similarly to the other one you keep on for 30 to 40 minutes this one you keep on between 15 to 20 minutes it's a little bit lighter of a sheet mask so i've decided to go with this one today so main reasons why i've decided to go for this one is you keep it on for a shorter period of time um it i don't know what what time it looks like on the camera but it's actually like 11 30 a.m that my doorbell is going to ring any minute so i just want something light quick and effective um that i don't have to worry about basically sliding onto the floor as i run down the stairs so i'm going to put this one on so again yeah dr jart 15 to 20 minutes this is the mask hydrating mask um sheet mask so i got this from look fantastic i also had a discount so i got a bit of money off of it um i need to double check how much i paid for it but i don't believe it was any higher than three or four ninety nine so yeah so for a face mask um slightly on the higher end again as we have experience with dr jark products um, compared to the simple masks, for example, that go for around one ninety nine, I believe. Um, so I guess we'll try it out and see, you know, why the price point is so high. Again, Dr. Jart, this is part of um, Korean skincare. Korean skincare is like a booming trend at the moment within beauty industry. Um, Korean skincare is often characterised um, between five to seven steps of basically your, your normal skincare, which is what I tend to do anyway. It's quite reputable for that. It's quite reputable for, I guess, giving you the normal skin look, the porcelain skin look, basically helping you to manage you know normal things like oil production assist you with helping to reduce blemishes as many other um products basically claim um however it is important to consider that with korean skin people from asian descent anyway tend to have normal skin so there are four skin types and um, there's dry oily combination and normal Normal is pretty rare, but when it is seen, it is typically in Asian skin anyway. So yeah, bit of a tangent, but yeah, so Dr. Jart is part of Korean skincare. Um, so yeah, this is a sheet mask with a uh, ceramide complex and e a toast, sorry, ectoin, ectoin, I hope I've said that right, providing a deep hydration and strengthening on the skin's barrier. So this is to basically assist with protecting you and your skin's natural moisture barrier, which can become damaged over time by sun damage. If you're not careful with using your SPFs, for example. So yeah, that's what this is supposed to do. So yeah, so after washing your face, which you've done, you even it out with toner, which I have done and then you put your face mask on. So after using this face mask, you're not to wash it off. So I have actually, <clears throat> sorry, I have actually washed my face. I have toned my face. I have put on my C serum as well. Um, you don't have to, I suppose, but I prefer to, particularly when using a mask that is not washed off. I want to have my usual products on my skin so that it's absorbed as normal and this will basically um, top my routine off as say 
a moisturizer would as this is a moisturizing sheet mask i hope that makes sense so i'm going to apply that enough of the talking let's get this mask on so i'm going to use a headband this time so this was from my aesthetic course actually so this is basically to protect your hair from getting any of the mask or product on it so just like so slightly behind the hairline and then we just secure that at the back of the head this is going to protect your hair from getting any product on it Okay. I hate having my ears tucked under um, anything like this, it just feels really uncomfortable for me. So yeah, okay, so this is what we are using. So I'm just gonna open that. Opens really well, wasn't hard to open at all, didn't have to fight with it. smells lemony again it comes in the signature sort of foil wrap i don't know if you can see that but there's a lot of product in there it's sort of drenched all in the bag which i suppose is a good thing so this is how it comes it's very very soggy um so it comes in one part some of their masks do come in two parts this comes in one part and i'm just separating it i'll try and get that on the camera okay so oops starting to drip okay I'm a bit confused which side this bit was folded inwards so I'm gonna go with that side okay Oh, very cold. I tried to get that at the top of my head. Oh, a lot of product on that. Is that a good thing? Um, oh, yeah, for the price point. This is kind of folded inwards. I'm just trying to correct that. I hate fiddly face masks. very very soggy um for the price point um i'm not going to complain about that too much because at least you know you are getting a lot a lot of products sorry for what you're actually paying um so i'm just trying to work on smoothing this out under eyes okay this is in my eye Mm, 
struggling a little bit with the eye area. I'm not sure if I've put this on too high or not. I'm scared to move my face <laughs> but we are on I'm going to leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes um I've done the best that I could trying to get all the bubbles out it's covering the grand majority of my face which I'm pleased about um these bits are kind of folded I'm just gonna leave it like that because it I mean the majority majority of it is on my face anyway um, the excess product and just patting into the back of my hand and I'll see you in 15 to 20 minutes so it's been like I want to say 20 or maybe even 25 minutes and this mask has held up really well that like, I'm super surprised okay now we're starting to lift because I'm smiling I'm talking now but I actually like done quite a lot of stuff and i found that the mask didn't move so i mean i was sort of up and down the stairs done a bit of washing up i tidied my room a little bit and the mask just held up really well like it didn't budge it didn't slide like one of the other dr jart masks um that i had worn but on the other hand that one was a little bit of a heavier material so that could have something to do with it but this mask has held up really well like really well um it doesn't feel as sticky as it was when i first put it on so it doesn't feel really heavy it feels quite snug it feels quite comfortable i could leave it on for longer to be honest if i like really wanted to but it's not really going to do anything like beneficial it says 15 to 20 minutes and i've kept it on for just over so i'm going to remove it now but so far i'm just really impressed with how it's held up on the skin um obviously i'm expressing myself now so this bit has started to lift but if you actually look at the rest of my face it's just on it's got great contact with my skin um on the chin area as well um it feels really good so far um a little bit of mascara stain but yeah i'm gonna remove this now so let's see so starting from the bottom still got quite a lot of product on it I can feel as well look at that I look like a newborn look at my skin wow I'm really impressed with this oh my gosh It's got a nice dewy after look. No white marks as well. The product has had great contact with my skin and it seems to have absorbed pretty well into the top layer. Over time, of course, over the next few minutes and hours, it will begin to do its job even better as it becomes oxidized. But so far, first impressions, I'm really impressed with this. My skin just looks moisturised, it looks hydrated. Um, there wasn't actually any hyaluronic acid in that. 
Okay, so there's not actually any hyaluronic acid in this product, but I did apply some before applying the mask. So that's something to consider with like this amazing glow and radiance that I have right now. I feel like I'm looking really like youthful and plump. Like it's a really good quick fix. I'm quite surprised. I wasn't expecting this. I would definitely, definitely use this in the mornings before you know running errands or something like this has just given me the the boost that i was looking for in a face mask um i've also double checked the price i don't think i didn't pay 4.99 for it the mask is seven pounds and i had a 10 percent off offer so i must have paid around six pounds 30 for it so basically six pounds but i'll be honest with you this looks really good i would use this maybe you could use it once a week twice a week depends on how much you're i guess willing to spend but this mask is really good um it basically covered the majority of my face there was some folding and stuff like that but i guess that's to be expected um with face masks as obviously everybody's face is different everyone has different facial features and they need to consider that with their brand um compared to i guess a professional facial or you know face mask per se seven pounds isn't all that bad when you when you actually think about it just for you know a quick boost to give your skin i guess the hydration that it needs and ensure that it works to good effect um so I'm not too mad about the price point, to be honest, considering that, you know, it is part of this Korean skincare as well. So I guess, you know, import fees, tax fee 18, all that stuff has been, you know, put into the price. But yeah, back to the skin. Um, yeah, I mean, the eye space was really good. Um, I did have some trouble of the mask getting into the corners of my eyes, but that could just be the way that I placed the mask um it did its job but basically coming down to the jowl sort of area with some masks that i have tried it basically just stops like around the chin it doesn't consider the jowl and obviously the neck and the jowl is a really important part of basically face care when you're washing your face you should be washing from here upwards so your neck upwards so not too mad at that at all um criticisms um maybe perhaps just taking it out the packet and not knowing entirely which side is supposed to sit on the skin but i just basically went off the bit that was folded up if that makes sense so the inside of that which i guess um what it says is common sense but not everyone might understand that entirely again with dr jart products they were really good at the back of the packet giving you instructions having picture diagrams if you're not so good at reading instructions due to uh, specialist needs or whatever so yeah overall i'm gonna be honest i'll give this a 10 out of 10 this is probably the best face mask that i've tried so far i will order it again um this is perfect to use um even having started doing micro needling and stuff like that i think this will be super good maybe at the second or third post day just to give your skin that hydration as you can experience dryness and peeling like oh i would buy this again this is the dr jar ceramidin facial barrier sheet mask you can get this from look fantastic cult beauty selfridges and it's amazing if you want bang for your buck that's going to help improve the appearance of your skin consider it and also consider the fact that i have already applied my vitamin c and hyaluronic and niacinamide etc before applying the mask so if you are going to apply the mask you can you can layer your products beforehand and yeah so that's it from me i hope you found this video useful and i will see you again in my next video goodbye